Yeah. So I can't take a shower in this bathroom without the water suddenly starting to stink absolutely foul. Every single time I try to rinse out my face, my eyes, or my hair, or certain other sensitive body parts. And right now, as you can see, it's 3.44 p.m. Today's Friday, August 9th, and I'm trying to take a shower, and I've been in the shower for about 20 minutes. The water's been fine so far, but as soon as I start to rinse out the conditioner from my hair and rinse out my face and my eyes with a washcloth, that washcloth right there, the water from this shower suddenly started to stink intensely foul, like some kind of fish smell. All of a sudden, there's a fish smell once again, and it's also combined with a weird feet smell. And no, it's not my feet. I'm covered with soap, and I've already rinsed myself out like 10 times. There's soap in my hair. My face is covered with soap. I have to wear a t-shirt because everybody knows there's surveillance devices in this bathroom, so I have absolutely no privacy. And then whenever I take off that t-shirt, the psychotic, perverted thug directly below 76 starts making violent pounding noises to let me know that he has knowledge of what I do in this bathroom. The water from this tap also suddenly smells foul, even though it wasn't smelling foul when I tried to use it to brush my teeth earlier. So there's a problem here. And the Greenville Group is allowing their resident sponsored psychopath named Jasmine Irizarry to engage in some extremely illegal uh, contamination of the water to this unit. Sometimes it seems to actually leach into the water that comes out of the tap in the bathroom down the hall. As I made a video about the other day, the oily, slick, slimy residue that was coming out of this tap right here and of that shower head also started coming out of the tap in the bathroom down the hall when I started to use the tap in the bathroom down the hall. And it was extremely oily and greasy. And everything that I tried to rinse off with it, even in the bathroom down the hall, became oily and greasy as well. So Greenville is extremely negligent and unlawful in allowing their resident psychopath, a paid sponsored career harasser named Jasmine Irizarry to contaminate the water to this unit, which is also now seemingly to uh, seep into the tap to the bathroom down the hall. This is unbelievable. This is so illegal. And when people admit that they're doing something, you know, maybe you should listen. Somebody admitted that this is what's happening. A couple of maintenance managers told me in the past that it was some type of valve system that was most likely installed against the intake pipe to the sink in 2019 when Irizarry, the resident of 78 behind that wall, engaged in a tremendous amount of construction and plumbing work against the uh, pipes to my tap on a Sunday afternoon. Press one. For maintenance, press two. If you're interested in selling a property, press three. For the office directory, press four or press zero for the front desk. So it's 340. They should be in the office. The front desk should be answering the phone, right? Let's hope. No, obviously not. After the tone, please leave a detailed message with your name and number so we may get back to you when we return. Hi there. It's 3.40 p.m. on Friday, August 9th, 2024. Um, it is business hours. You guys should be answering your phones. I'm calling from Unit 89 to report that I've been trying to take a shower for about 20 minutes now, and your uh, resident career psychopath, Jasmine Arizari, suddenly started contaminating the water to my shower again, uh, 20 minutes into my shower. There's somebody sitting in the bathroom of 78 directly behind the wall of my shower stall. And just as I started trying to wash my face and rinse out my eyes and rinse out the conditioner from my hair, there was some pounding noises against the wall behind my shower stall. And then the water suddenly started to stink like fish. Um, it's an intense foul fish smell that suddenly comes out of the shower head as I'm trying to rinse out my eyes and my hair. It has nothing to do with me smelling like fish, especially since I've been in the shower for 20 minutes and I'm completely rinsed off. I'm just trying to rinse off soap and shampoo right now. So I'm clean. The smell is not coming from me. It's coming from your shower head. There's also the same stink of fish that comes out of my uh, bathroom tap as it comes out of the shower head, which means that somebody is contaminating the water as it comes into the intake pipe to my bathroom. This is something that is extremely illegal, and I keep reporting it to the Greenville Group, and you guys refuse to do anything about it. It is a federal crime punishable by 20 years in prison and a fine of no less than $55,000 for contaminating the water supply to any residence or establishment, and you guys are permitting Jasmine Irizarry, your psychopath career harasser, to do this to my bathroom every hour of every day. As I keep reporting in dozens of voicemails and phone calls and emails, the water to my kitchen tap 
sap is constantly slimy, oily, thick and greasy, or then it smells like fish or like feet, or then it emits an extremely foul stench of someone's ass crack when I try to use it to wash my face, to drink, to wash my teeth, um, and to rinse out sensitive body parts. I am unable to use the water from my kitchen tap for drinking. It is constantly unusable for the various reasons that I just mentioned. And Irizarry, the psychopath, keeps doxing her own physical presence in the bathroom of 78 by making repeated pounding, banging noises against the wall behind my shower stall when I'm trying to use that shower stall or against the wall of my kitchen sink when I'm trying to use that kitchen sink for personal reasons, such as washing my face, rinsing out my eyes, or rinsing out sensitive body parts that suddenly become contaminated by the water that suddenly starts to stink as it comes out of that tap when I try to rinse out my eyes my mouth, etc. This is a federal crime. This has nothing to do with anything that I am or am not doing. Irizarry herself is admitted to being a structural engineer who, quote, takes care of problems. These are her own words on social media. She has admitted to doing exactly what I'm saying she's doing right now. I am recording this voicemail for legal purposes, and if you have any questions, you know my phone number. It is 3.40 p.m. on Friday, and you're refusing to answer your phones, as always. Thank you. Yeah. When people tell you that they're doing something, when management, when management tells you that something is happening, oh, no, don't check out the taps. To, don't check out the pipes because I could get in trouble if you check out the pipes because I was threatening to hire a professional plumber to investigate why the water from this tap constantly smells so foul that I have to run it to get rid of whatever stench keeps coming out of it. I run the water because it is contaminated and stinks so foul that whatever's in it needs to come out. You got that? I wouldn't have to do this if Irizarry, the psychopath who claims to be a structural engineer who takes care of problems, wasn't deliberately making banging noises directly behind this wall and can tap. Yeah, this water is completely thick, oily, and greasy right now. This is basically oil, as I keep saying. Why is somebody pumping oil into this tap? Because the Greenville Group is permitting Irizarry, the psycho scum, perverted sex offender who uses surveillance devices throughout this unit, as I've been told, and as Irizarry herself has admitted to doing, as Oleg Alisayev has admitted to doing, um, as various maintenance managers have referred to Irizarry as the surveillance expert, well, then that means that she's engaging in illegal surveillance. None of this is illegal, folks. I mean, none of this is legal. I'm also late. Um, I obviously have to be somewhere. If I'm taking a shower, it means I have to go somewhere. And Irizarry, the psycho scum, sex offender, psychopath, hate stalker, seems to have a problem with me leaving the building. So I'm going to keep this water running because right now there's an extremely oily, greasy, slimy residue coming out of it. And then the water from my shower suddenly stinks like fish when I'm trying to rinse out my hair as I keep reporting. So, you know, we've got a serious problem with the plumbing and I'm not the one who's doing it. I'm just trying to use it in good faith to rinse out my dishes, my hands, my face, to take a shower, to brush my teeth in the bathroom. Then the water from that tap suddenly starts to stink like fish. What the hell is going on, folks? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. The Greenville Group is a criminal slumlord who engages in some very dirty tactics to try to harass tenants that they have a problem with. This is a race and gender based harassment. They don't do this to the many uh, BLM male activists who they choose to house in large numbers in this building, they leave them alone, even though they're the ones who constantly engage in violent, aggressive behavior. And I keep having to call the police because they won't leave me alone. Right. But they don't like females and they don't like white females. So there you go. This is probably what the root cause is. Right. I'm the only Caucasian female living in this building. And even though I keep to myself, I don't talk to anyone. I don't know anyone. I don't tell anyone anything about my life. They all seem to know a lot about me that is very concerning because none of that information ever came from me or from anything that I might have said to these people in passing, trying to get past them on the way to the door or to the exit, right? So they're stalkers. They're a bunch of psycho scum harassing no life, low lives who need to leave me alone. And the Greenville Group is supporting them in their efforts at stalking, harassing, and assaulting me whenever they can. I just had to call the police last week because a psycho thug directly below 76 literally ran up after me up the back stairwell after coming down at me down the front stairwell. And then he started shouting at me as I tried to jump out of the uh, stairwell when he was running up behind me to get out of his way. He started shouting at me and saying things like, uh, everybody knows this, blah, blah, blah. What does everybody know? I don't tell anybody anything. So if everybody knows something, that means they're a bunch of psycho scum who are uh, stalkers and can't keep to themselves. Maybe these 
no life, low life nut jobs should just stay in their own lane and leave me alone.